Hello, Internet, and welcome to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So, I know that right after these settings, the game just starts. Yeah, here we go. All right. <clears throat> so, it's actually a lot lighter in the video than it's showing on my actual screen. <clears throat> a gun interactive in Sumo Nottingham game in association with Vortex Inc. in Exerbia Films. Powered by Unreal Engine. April 1973. Tragedy and despair have struck Central Texas. A young college student named Maria Flores has seemingly vanished without a trace. She was last seen near the town of Newt more than two weeks ago. But with no physical evidence, the investigation has stalled. With few leads and even less hope, Maria's younger sister, Ana Flores, and a group of her closest friends set out to find their missing loved one. But any grief or sadness caused by Maria's disappearance would pale in comparison to the agony and despair they would soon discover. What awaited this group of youths was a nightmare beyond belief. The events surrounding Maria's disappearance would be just one of the many bizarre crimes later known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay. All right. Well, pretty excited to play this. I don't know anything about it. <clears throat> I know it's made by the similar people who made the um, Friday the Thirteenth game. <laughs> Looks like they were actually able to get license on here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Ah! That's so loud. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry if that was loud. Alright. Be me and Johnny. Let's go. <clears throat> Welcome to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Alright. First thing we need to do, because my graphics card is not... Amazing. We need to... We need to take it down to low. <clears throat> and that will help it run a lot smoother. Alright, so let's look at the customization. Alright, so we have... We have our people there. This is... Skill trees locked. Cosmetics. Yeah, this will look a lot better on a better graphics card. <clears throat> Alright, well. Uh plays the family. Ah, uh, screw it. I'm I'm down for both. The family now. It's up to you to secure the property and stop victims from escaping. The family's way of life depends on it. Keep all doors locked and make sure all exits are closed. Trapped. Garden. Make sure to monitor crucial pieces of equipment like generators, the fuse box, and the water valve pump. The status of these items play a huge role in whether or not victims will have an easy path to escape. Hmm. Make sure to collect blood from drainage buckets scattered around the map, or by attacking victims directly. Feed this newly acquired blood to Grandpa to make him stronger and more effective. The what? stronger he is, more powerful his sonar ability will become. Pretty soon he'll be finding and highlighting victims for the whole family to see. What? Feed Grandpa enough and he'll give the family new abilities that can be used for the rest of the match. Remember, Grandpa is the best killer that ever was. Hunt down the victims using abilities and teamwork. Look for signs of movement. Listen for noise. Pay attention to your surroundings. Mm. Keep your eyes and ears open. <clears throat> oh my god. Those victims might be hiding. Speaking of abilities, each family member has a unique ability that can help hunt and track down victims. Careful though, some abilities have limited quantities while others are on a cooldown. So hunt wisely. Once you locate or find a victim, make sure you have a plan. Try to set up ambushes. Catch them off guard. The direct approach isn't always the best. 
so use your fellow family members when possible. But once your plan unfolds and you get them within range, hit them. Then hit them again. And remember, if you do manage to successfully hit or execute a victim, take that blood to Grandpa. He's hungry and needs his strength in order to help you. Oh, don't let a single victim escape. After all, we win as a family, or we lose as a family. Okay. You've been captured by the Slaughter family. Tied up, tortured, and left for dead. You must do whatever it takes to escape the family's property at all costs. Find your friends. Hunt for life-saving items like tools, bone scrap, and health. But more importantly, locate and open up escape routes before it's too late. Family is hunting, so move quietly and make the right decisions. Your life depends on it. Stay quiet and hidden. Move slowly and carefully. I think I'd like to place the family more than the victims. Use shadows and tall foliage to stay hidden. Take cover behind tall objects to break line of sight. And last but not least, use the environment. I'm so bad at stealth games. Wall gaps, crawl spaces, and unique hiding spots like freezers, armoires. And even vehicle trunks can be used to evade the family. Use them. Watch out for objects that make noise. Moving too fast through the environment can spell disaster. Searching for items slowly will drastically increase your chance of survival. Even moving too fast through doors can give away your location. So stay calm and move quietly. The family is always listening. Find useful items. Tools can be used to break locks. Yeah, I think I'd definitely like to play no as the family. While bone scrap can be used to sneak attack or even confront the family directly. These items can mean the difference between life and death. You can only carry two items at a time, so choose wisely. Try to plan ahead. Unlock exits. The heavy metal doors almost always lead out of the basement. Find and open them. Once upstairs, Keep moving if possible. There are multiple escape routes located on the outer edges of the property, so find a way to open them. Some escape objectives, like the fuse box and water valve pump, require specific items to activate them. These items can be found scattered around the property. Be on the lookout. Escape the family. Having trouble finding an escape option? When in doubt, head towards the main road or rear gate. Those are usually the easiest option, if you can get there. Hmm. The water valve gate and the basement door exits are also available options if you can find the necessary parts to activate them. The basement door requires you to find and repair the fuse box, while the water valve gate needs the pressure valve handle to open. Once fixed, the escapes will open up for you and your team. Use your abilities to stay alive. Use at the right time they can mean the difference between life and death. Be careful though. Star sign abilities have a cooldown that will prevent overuse. So plan wisely. Remember, you have been captured, beaten, and tortured. So your injuries are severe. You need to escape before you succumb to your wounds. As the match <laughs> continues, you will start to bleed out more and more. Be wary of leaving blood trails behind. You can be tracked. Health items wow, that's process. pretty sick, dude. You can't stop it. <clears throat> Escape is the only option. Finding fellow victims and working together is recommended, but not required. Grouping with teammates can have a multitude of advantages, but your total noise output might also increase. Choose your strategy wisely. The only question is, who will survive? And what will be left of them? Okay, so <clears throat> I think I want to play as uh, the family more than I want to play as the victims. Come on. Select it. There. Jesus. <clears throat> But be careful, the family will hear him scream. Hmm. Man, this is interesting so far. I love the premise.
As the last remaining victim incapacitating Grandpa with bone scrap will aid your escape. So I haven't seen the movies, so I guess if I had watched the movies, all of this would probably make much more sense, maybe? Like, is Grandpa some supernatural being? Damn, this is taking a while to load. There we go. <clears throat> okay, whoa. Alright, what do we got going on here? Uh... Okay, options. Okay, push enable voice chat off. There we go. <clears throat> I don't want to talk or have anyone hear me. No, thank you. Okay. So what are we doing? Just... Ready? Why am I this person? Can't, I can't change anything, so... <clears throat> Come on, ready up. I will be the hitchhiker. Alright, can I see what this means? No. Oh, can I see the loadout? I need to know what my stuff does. Okay. Both family and victims can... County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. The vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search to the nearby hmm. Marlowe and Chinatown will unearth. Remember, you are not alone. The family should work together when hunting down victims. <clears throat> Come on. Let's go, let's go. Spread out. You can see everyone in the family. There are open paths for them to escape. Ah, look at those graphics. Secure the property. Feed Grandpa blood. Hunt and collect blood from victims. Execute victims. Wow. That is violent. Oh, hey, it's me. Oh, my God. Better go check on Grandpa. Okay. Okay, this sets a trap. Okay. I don't know what this does. Okay, I know that sets the trap. Oh, no, no, no. Cancel. Okay, so that, that swings. Got it. Is there a... Okay, so shift runs. Alright, so I don't... Where am I supposed to look for these guys, anyway? <clears throat> so when I close that and lock it. Okay, that's weird. Leatherface. Okay. Just gonna 
open this door. I should probably have my volume turned up so I can hear. The problem is, is that there's so many noises. It's very hard to... Oh, hey, what's that? Yeah, I don't have to worry about making noises. I don't hear anything. Uh, no, close it. Uh oh. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I mean, that's great and all, but. I don't know how to get to Grandpa. Man, it'd be nice if they, like, labeled where Grandpa was. Is that the fuse box? Make sure that stays locked. Okay. <clears throat> Man, it would be nice to know where the fuck someone was. Oh wait, are you one of the family? Oh yeah, you're one of the family. Okay. Whew. Bro, she scared the ever-living Jesus out of me. Ugh. Am I right back where I started? <clears throat> Man. Oh god, the problem is is I don't know the map. That is definitely a problem. Is there not like a sneak button? Ah, oh, there's old grandpa. Alright, how do I give him blood? Do I just... wait? Ah, here we go. Feed Grandpa. Uh... 
Okay. Bro, I don't see anyone. She's part of the family. That's from a chicken. <clears throat> I hear Leatherface somewhere. Drink up, Grandpa. Here's some blood. Victim detection. Ah, get back here. Oh, God. No. What are you doing? No. It's like, how do I alert my team that he's here? Hello! No! Damn it! Ah! Go 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 come on come on come on come on come on come on Yeah Take this. Yeah, We're not through here <laughs> Oh no 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 She's over here. Trappy trap right there. There we go. Perfect. Now, where the hell did she go? Did I collect blood from him already? Damn, he hears something. What the hell you got going on, bro? Ah ha! Ah 
Let's go. Oh, the family wins. Right? Was that it? Oh, hunt down the final victim. Oh boy. Oh yeah, playing as the playing as the family is so much more fun. Okay, uh well I would like to go that way. It's a little inconvenient for me. I gotta walk all the way around. Oh, they quit. <laughs> you you do your thing, Leatherface. You did Something. I don't know. How many, how many kills did you get? One? Okay, that was odd. Level up. Alright, what are SP points and how do I use them? No, I don't want to continue. I want to, like, know what the points and stuff are. Progression? Uh... Huh. I'm not sure. Alright, so these are the abilities and perks. These are the different ones that I can get. This is my skill tree. I know how to work a skill tree. Cosmetics. So I can do like I mean cosmetics he just has the one. What about Leatherface? What kind of cosmetics does he have? Oh my god, I love that. And I love that. I love both of those. That's so funny. Just like Grandpa Tatcha, good like a deer. All right. Well, I think that is where I'll stop the video. That was a lot of fun. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it as always. Please like and subscribe to my channel where I post stuff like this every day, Monday, except uh, Friday through Sunday. So thanks. Bye.